I think that one of the best things of, about being a Purdue graduate student is that you get exposure to your different areas of interest. There's a, there's a broad range of research interests that are in, you know, at our department. Uh, I think the best thing about the Purdue MCMP program is, specifically the students, is, is that there's just a lot of diversity involved. I mean, there's people that come from a lot of different backgrounds, biochemistry, biology, chemistry. Um, I know when I met Meredith, she had a lot of computational background, so um, if you have a question about something that you're not very familiar with, you can get a lot of feedback and help with something that you're not familiar with. Yes, like in my molecular biology lab, I know that there's people with chemistry backgrounds, but there's people with biology and biochemistry. So you learn a lot of different techniques that you probably weren't exposed to in your undergraduate work, but just because there's so much diversity and people come from so many different places that you get a lot of different things that can help in your research. Um, I actually think the structure of the program works very well because from different things that, um, say for example, the rotation that the incoming students do, they rotate for three weeks through different um, labs and they get to see what the research is on, you know, actually physically, not just on paper. Uh, one of the things I particularly enjoyed in the MCMP program is the method by which we do our written examinations here. Um, I feel as though coming in to the department, I had not had a lot of experience really delving into scientific journals and, and learning how to pick apart a study and learn from a study. And I think the process of our cumulative examinations, as you go through each different test, you get a little better at analyzing a scientific study and the scientific method and, and seeing if researchers are, are presenting their data in appropriate ways and learning how to interpret data. And I, I think I grew a lot from that process. I can honestly say in the you know, two and a half years that I've been here, I've never heard someone say, I can't run an experiment because I don't, we don't have the instrument here at Purdue, or I don't have the access to that instrument here at Purdue. The faculty, well, I will say that they are very good mentors. I think that men mentoring is a very key step uh, for, for us to continue and to take a, a good mentor is a key step and I think that Purdue faculty provide that thing. Yeah, I, I agree with him. I mean, I think that the MCMP faculty, they truly care about their students and they truly care about you know, how you're progressing along in the program. And I think also that they will be available for you at any time that you that you need it as well. So anytime that you have any questions or concerns, whether it's about you know your research or if it's about life in general, they're always there for you to help you out with that. I think what sets Purdue apart is the fact that the faculty are really interested in, in training excellent scientists. They they really immerse themselves in your education. They find out what motivates you, and they really try and make an impact on um, your research. I think one of the things I like best about the faculty in this department is the uh, diversity of not only expertise but of personality. Uh, I think one of the um, hallmarks of our department are the way that faculty work with each other in collaborative projects. It's a, a unique uh, aspect of the department. The faculty have collaborations among themselves in the department as well as with many other departments around the university. Number one, I think the faculty is very bright. My colleagues are just terrific. And I think being in an atmosphere that is so intellectually charged is, is actually, it's, it's just really vibrant to do that. I do enjoy some of the things, uh, some of the activities that are available in West Lafayette. For example, there are plays all the time and concerts. They have free concerts in the summer at Really Plaza and it's just fun to go out and see everybody and it's a smaller community and you get to know people a lot too. Yeah, the, the town of Lafayette is actually very active. There's uh, uh, several, like every other weekend during the summertime there's some sort of festival going on downtown. Uh, art exhibits, uh, what, what's that, uh, Taste of Tippecanoe Taste of Tippecanoe where all the restaurants yeah. come out and, and you really get a chance to, in the time that you spend here, feel like you've become part of the community Yeah, and that's been really nice. As far as living in West Lafayette and Lafayette, what I really was worried about when I came to graduate school was the stipend. I was very concerned about not having to take out any more loans for my undergraduate degree, and the stipend here has been excellent. Um, I, have, I have not had to take out any more loans since I've been here. In fact, I've been able to save some money. I would say if you're truly interested in, in a broad range 
of biological, or biological and chemical techniques in the context of something that's as important as drug discovery and developing new therapeutics and uh, you know molecular bases of disease. I think then this is this is the great place. This is the place for you. I think just from my experience here, the word discovery for me means, I mean, I can't even use it just in one sense. I can't use it in discovering new drugs, I can't use it in discovering new techniques. I mean, for me, discovery is now meaning discovering new people, new things, new cultures, new environments. This is a cool question because discovery is being the first person to realize something that nobody knew before. And I think that's what drives science because you're in that dark room as a graduate student. You're looking at that auto rat and you see that band and nobody has ever seen it before. And you've discovered something. I think that's, that's what drives anybody in science. It's just, there's no feeling like it. And they pay you to do it. Well, discovery to me is both um, an internal and external process. For me, it was an awakening, um, awakening of, first of all, how much I didn't know when I came here and how much I learned once I got here.